uh, and don't get me wrong, I'm tolerant of everyone, especially people from other countries that come to America. But uh, and but we also have laws here also. But if we're living in a time where there are more important things than propaganda and digging up old grudgery, that's not going to matter after we're all gone in the first place because, you know, our lives are short. And the world is being taken over by conspiracy of the world's uh, elite and they would like to see us all each other at each other's throats and uh, fighting each other. There is good and, and evil in everyone. Uh, Christians are human just like you and they make mistakes and they make choices of, uh, of for the right and wrong reasons. So we're all accountable for our own actions. And I don't want to go into much history, but if you were to research U.S. history, and I mean the real history, I mean really do research of how uh, early Americans came here to begin a new life for themselves in freedom from other countries that they were being persecuted for their faith. And the early American settlers like John Elliott and David uh, Brainerd were missionaries to the Native Americans. Uh, this is John Elliott. He began preaching in 1646 as a pastor to the Native Americans of New England. He wrote the Native American translation of the Bible in the Algonquin language in Roxbury, Massachusetts in 1661. Uh, the first part was the New Testament he wrote in 1661 and the entire Bible in 1663 and he also wrote the Indian Grammar in 1666. David uh, Brainerd uh, began his ministry as an apostle to the North American Indians in 1742. He wrote a diary journal during his life among the Indians called The Rise and Progress of a Remarkable Work of Grace among the number of Indians in the Providence of New Jersey and Pennsylvania. He worked among the Delaware Indians with heroic and self-denying labors for the spiritual and temporal welfare of the Indians. Moses Tunda Tatamai was the first Indian baptized in 1745 by David Brainerd. And during that time, during his ministry, he worked faithfully in evangelizing the Indians. And up until his death at the house of his friend Jonathan Edwards, on October the 9th, 1747, and is buried in Hampton, Mass Northampton, Massachusetts. And Elliot translated the Bible into the Native American language and wrote the Indian Grammar Book. And uh, um, these men wanted the Indians to learn and be evangelized so that they, so they could communicate and uh, live with one another. And uh, Christ intended that his gospel to go to all the nations. That was his commission. That was his part of commission in Matthew 28. Uh, and this was uh, to be not to be conquered by the sword but by the sword of his word the gospel and that was the only reason so anyone that has never uh, lived in my country um, and yes this is my country the same as the Native Americans because the Lord created me to to be born an American I was born an American and I have the rights and freedoms like anyone else that lives here because uh, the Lord uh, in heaven made it so. Uh, because if God didn't want a tent for America to be as it is, um, He would have left this to the American Indians. And who else would have lived here in this day and time anyway? And then I would probably have been born in Europe myself somewhere. <laughs> I don't know where I've been born because actually. You know, I'm a mixture, you know, of many uh, nationalities and um, from many countries, you know. And uh, so if he uh, didn't want America to be a great nation, he wouldn't have willed it to be because nothing happens without him. 
and so and that's about it what I wanted to say so hopefully I did this in 10 minutes so uh, hopefully that you will give uh, Jesus Christ uh, your your life to him because life is getting short and um, and I hope that uh, you will make him the Lord of your life so you take care and God bless you God bless you and Jesus loves you bye